Hey DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Working on my grandma's boat today and the horn is not working. Let's check it out. And as you can see here, here is our horn. And nothing is working. Even when we turn the key to the on position, nothing. Even if we have the engine running, still no horn. Safety first, step number one, cut all electrical power to your electrical system and pull off the black negative cable from your negative terminal of your battery. Next thing we'll do is go down below where all of our fuses are, which are way up under there. Down below here is our horn and verify the connection points are secured on the leads. You can even pull them off and verify that there is no rust or corrosion interfering with the electrical connection. In our case, they look good. From here, Follow the wires and they go all the way up here, this one right here. And what I found was this is extremely loose. And so what I'm going to do is grab a pair of pliers and crimp this connection point just a tiny bit, which will create a much more secure connection when I have this on. As you can see, this comes on and off very, very easily. So in my opinion, it's interfering with the electrical connection. So again, all I did was take a pair of pliers and carefully crimp this just a bit. And I'm going to re-secure it to the connection way up top. And right away, it is much more firmly secured than before. All right, DIYers, after you have confirmed that your connection points are properly secured and there is no rust corrosion interfering with the electrical leads and connection points, what you want to do is follow the wires that come out of your horn as well as all the way up to the connection point where we just had to slightly crimp that connection point just a little bit to give it a firmer connection. And you may have a splice in the wire leading all the way down to your fuses as shown here. Yours may be slightly different. And all these are are pressure fit into the little pressure tabs here. Carefully grab your horn fuse and shift it outward and away from the pressure tabs and inspect your fuse to verify it is not blown or badly burnt. In the event that it is either of those, we definitely recommend replacing your horn fuse. So again, check your connection points as well as your fuse. What I'll do next is close the door there and go reconnect the wires or cables to the battery and test the horn. Check this out, DIYers. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.